Hello and welcome to the Surgeon's Barrow. In this short video, we shall take a look at the very interesting topic of autologous transfusion, also known as autotransfusion. Now, the transfusion of blood and its products comes with its own risks and complications, which can range from allergic reactions to infections. In fact, if the reactions are severe enough, it can even lead to death of the patient. A method of bypassing this is autotransfusion. Autologous transfusion or autotransfusion is the process by which a healthy person donates their own blood prior to an elective procedure where subsequent transfusion of blood and its products is anticipated. In essence, a person is donating their own blood. Needless to say, the use of autotransfusion is growing. Having understood the meaning of autologous transfusion, let us now look at its nuances. We will understand this by asking a few questions and then answering those few questions. So, how many units of blood can be collected for future use? So, the answer to that is a person can donate a maximum of 5 units of blood which can be collected for future use. The next question that arises is what should the minimum hemoglobin concentration be for a person to be able to donate their own blood? The answer to that is the minimum hemoglobin concentration should be 11 gram percent or the minimum hematocrit should be 34 percent. Next, how many days prior to the planned surgery can a person donate their blood? The answer to that is, now since, a pay, since the person is, is uh, allowed to donate 5 units of blood, the first procurement, that is the first donation is going to be performed 40 days before the planned operation and the last one is performed 3 days before the operation. So now if a person can donate 5 units of blood having a he minimum hemoglobin concentration of 11 gram percent, how often can they do so? This means that if a person donates blood today, when will you call him next for his uh, next unit of blood transfusion? Sorry, blood donation. So the answer to that is a person can donate blood every 3 to 4 days. Now what is interesting is there is something called recombinant human erythropoietin. So recombinant human erythropoietin, it accelerates the generation of red blood cells and allows for more frequent harvesting of blood. So to summarize, if a person is scared that they might suffer a reaction to blood transfusion or if a person has a history of having had reaction to previous blood transfusions and uh, they are planning to undergo an elective surgery, they can bypass those fears, they can bypass those reactions by doing something called autologous transfusion. Thank you.